right, this week we're going to work on alternate picking, and we're going to do a fun exercise, and there will be tabs for you available as well. All right, so why do we want to alternate pick? Well, um, if we want to smoothly and quickly play notes, single notes at a time, so I'm not talking about strumming here, I'm talking about single melody notes. And if we want to improve our speed on that, uh, a great way to do this is called alternate picking. All right, now this is something that I take from um, playing mandolin and stuff like that. So um, each note, we're going to pick a different direction, all right? And basically, um, a quarter note, which means it's on the beat in 4-4 four, four time, so that one, two, three, four, your quarter note gets an out, all right? So it gets an out pluck. So every time you see a quarter note, that's your out pluck, okay? And then your eighth note is what gets your uh, back pluck, all right? So when we are doing a string of notes, when we come across, say, two quarter notes and then a string of four eighth notes, those are going to get the second one, the second eighth note is going to get a back pluck, all right? I hope that makes sense to you. What I'm going to do is illustrate that right now, but let's do a measure of quarter notes right now. That would be one, two, three, four, and those would all be out plucks. One, two, three, four, okay? So now let's do what I was talking about when I said we're gonna do two quarter notes and then a string of four eighth notes. So the first eighth note will get the out pluck. The second eighth note will get the back pluck and that is our and beat. So if we're, if we're gonna talk it out, we go one, two, three, and four and. Hope that makes sense to you. So our and beat Anything where there's a note on our and beat will be a back pluck, okay? Doesn't matter what string you're on either, okay? That doesn't matter. It's always an out on our beat, on our number, and a back on our and, okay? So let me illustrate what I was talking about with the two quarter notes and four eighth notes. One, two, three, and four and. So it would be out out, out, in, out, in. All right? Hope that makes sense to you. And this, if you will uh, work on this and uh, practice it, you will get much faster and smoother because once you get this ingrained in that right hand to just automatically do that, you're going to find that you can get these notes a lot quicker. Okay? So now let's move on to our exercise. I will play it through for you and then I'll talk it through and then we'll play it together. Here we go. All right, so that's what it's supposed to sound like. So we've got four measures here. The first measure is four quarter notes. Open, open, two, four. All right? Open, open, two, four. Those are all out plucks, all right? Now, we've got a whole string of eight eighth notes. So that's going to be out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, all right? And that's going to be O, oh, one, one, two, two, one, O, oh, four. All right, and I'll do that again. Now remember, those back plucks are on our and beats, okay? And our numbered beats are out plucks, all right? The third measure is just four quarter notes again. And the last measure is just two half notes of our open melody string. All right, now let's play it through slowly together. I'll count you in. One. Two, 
Ready, go. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. All right. So now, apply this to all of your strings. Okay, that was the middle. Let's do the bass. All right, so practice this and get that ingrained in your right hand, okay? And work on other exercises. If you'd like a whole group of um, extra exercises and tabs, you can head on over to my website, banjolemonade.com, and find those there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next week.